All right, hello everybody and welcome to the channel. As usual, my name is of course Constantine and today in the world of indie games, we're gonna be checking out a brand new game called Teeny Tiny Trains. And this is a very, very lovely little game that actually the first time I saw it, it reminded me a lot of that Dreams game, as you guys know, uh, that I would play it on the channel here and really enjoy it. But this one's going to be more of a puzzle adventure compared to that one. And uh, it's going to be a really, really fun one. It's, of course, going to use these kind of like uh, wooden toy trains that uh, most of you guys should know uh, that we used to play as kids. And uh, we are just about to solve some puzzles today, just trying to play teeny tiny games. So without further ado, guys, before we jump into this one, just want to take a quick moment here to uh, thank the publisher for providing a review cup share the game with y'all if you guys are interested in game one grab for yourselves check out the links down below in the description and without further ado let's dive right in let's do this all right let's see what do you prefer do you prefer placing tracks or drawing tracks uh placing i think i feel like it's more fun to place them than draw them all right so i'm gonna be guessing what we got to do is basically grab the tracks from here and see if you place them up like that. You can even rotate them if you want to. That is so cool. Hold up. I gotta lower down the volume for the game because it's too loud. Okay, let's do that. That. Of course, it's gonna be very, very easy, right? For the first try. Here we go. So, what you have to do is basically create tracks from the garage to the finish line. Just like that. Awesome. And of course, the puzzles are gonna get more and more complicated as we keep on going as well. Red needs to go there, green there, and blue there, right? It doesn't look like I have any, a specific amount of blocks, though. Which is interesting. You also have to rotate them to place them in position. Okay. All these are gonna have to rotate like that. Easy. And there we go. Awesome. Hold up, let me go with settings. Music volume. Let me reduce it to 30. All right, there we go. I had to reduce the uh, music volume a little bit because it was a little bit too loud and play. I cannot wait to see how uh, intertwine is gonna work. Right when it's gonna when the roads are gonna intertwine, we're gonna have to switch. Try to make sure they don't uh, hurt each other. Press on the tracks you want to delete. Ah, okay, okay. So red needs to come here, but this one also needs to come here. Mm hmm. Interesting. But can we go through the... We cannot go through the trees. So how do I get it here then? Huh. That's gonna be deleted. Deleted. This is gonna go here and rotate it. Oh, I think you can actually go inside this one. Never mind. Yeah, I think you can just simply have two entrances. Just like that. There we go. As easy as that. Solve that one. Flip-flop. Yeah, I know. You can kind of like... Oh, you can flip-flop it here. So you're basically flip-flopping the direction. This one is showing me the direction is going that tree, but I don't want that. I want to actually switch the direction to be straight up, just like that. Interesting. Here we go. Problems. Oh, and as soon as it crosses it, it changes. Interesting. So that's good to know. Corners. I mean, corners are awesome. Who doesn't like corners? Flip and flop, and there we go. Currently, the first chapter is, of course, kind of like a tutorial to teach us how to play the game. But uh, the more we play, the more difficult it's going to get. So, for example, this one, I'm going to have to do a little bit of that. Here, I'm going to have to rotate this. Straight. I'm going to need another one of these. Straight. Rotate. There we go. And straight. Easy. Look at that. I cannot wait to get to, like, really, really complicated puzzles that I'm going to have to try to solve. Now, this, for example, I could have this, right? An intersection. But I have a feeling if I do it, they're going to hit each other. Pretty sure about it. Let's just try and see what's going to happen. I knew it! There we go. <laughs> Experience your first train crash. Okay. Uh, how do you reset? Okay, like that. Perfect. In that case. I'm gonna have to try something else here. So I could have that going. That's not gonna work, though. Hmm. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let me also get this one and delete it. 
Let's get this one flipped like that. He's gonna have to go here. That. There we go. Get that one straight. And there we go. I think this is gonna work. Whoa, why it was so fast? <laughs> I wanted to actually see it. What the heck? I wanna put it on one. So this one goes first and then this one. Easy, easy, easy. Perfect. Uh, oh, these are gonna hit each other. No. So I'm definitely gonna have to... Get him to go that way for sure. So blue is gonna go there. It's pretty easy. Every single one of them is gonna have to rotate. Perfect. Rotate. Rotate. Pretty easy mission. This is gonna be kind of like a race. There we go. Easy. Awesome. Uh, train order. In certain levels, trains must reach their destination in a specific color order. Ah. Tap star to see the dispatch sequence and goals for the required arrival. Aha, so train order. First of all, we need blue over here. And then red. I get it. Interesting. So blue is going to go first and then this guy's going to have to come here, right? Go. There we go. Easy. Right? Yep, we did it. Perfect. Alright, this one also has red and red, but we already have only two reds, so that is easy as well. Uh let's do that and maybe that. So one is gonna enter through the bottom, one's gonna enter through the top so they don't hit each other. Perfect. Pretty the easy mission. Go here and play. There we go. Awesome. Uh, next, this one has to go around and make its way over here. Very easy mission as well. Straight, straight, straight. Great, and another one I'm gonna have to switch like that. There we go. Easy. For now. Alright, red goes here, blue goes here. Why does it look so complicated? Because it's not complicated at all. All we need are a lot of curves. So there's one curve there, here, here. This one rotated. Uh, this one also rotated like that. And other than this, a lot of straight roads. Of course, we could also play this as drawing the lines instead of having to uh, kind of like pull them from this spot and put them down. But I feel like it's more fun like this. There we go. Awesome. There we go. We're back. Trying to reduce the volume for the music again. So blue goes here, red goes here. Hmm. Very, very easy mission. Once I'm gonna start having only a specific amount of files to use, that's when things are gonna get more complicated. Because at the moment I can place as many as I like, right? And that's what's making it super duper easy. There we go. Very easy mission. Aha, uh -huh. okay, red goes here. So we're gonna have to do a curve over there. Great, um... Uh... Straight, I said, buddy. Curve it up over here. Straight again. Right here and curve it up over here. Okay. You are going to go here then. Just like that. Curve it up. And we should be all good. Easy. Very easy mission. Ooh, what about this one? Hold up. Train delaying. Strategically set your tracks to control train order. Aligning with the color sequence indicated. Ah, okay, so this one is releasing both red and blue. The first one is leaving blue and then red. Okay, and this is also... Ah, I need to reach red and blue. Okay, so blue is leaving first. Meaning blue is going to have to take a longer road, while red is going to have to make it up in here first. So, let's flip this one around. Wait, what? No. 
Yeah, let's flip it like that. Blue is going to go that way. Actually, no, let's do this. Blue is going to go at the bottom. Then it's going to have to go like this. Then I'm going to keep on rotating him around to kind of like make him delayed a little bit. Because blue needs to reach in here last. So blue is going to come in like this, but this one doesn't go anywhere, so this is no good. Um, what? This is no good either. No, that's a problem. Hold up. This is no good. That is no good either. The red is gonna have to come in first. That's what I'm trying to do right now. What if I do this? Aha, uh -huh. okay, this works. So red is gonna go in first, but I'm not gonna be able to get blue in here anymore. This is no good. There we go. So it's gonna come this way. That's gonna go like that. So red is gonna go here. Blue is gonna keep on going around and around in circles. Till eventually makes its way over here. Yep. There we go. Alright, it's gonna work. Let's see. It should work. Red should definitely be a little bit Master, it is. There we go. Red and blue. Awesome. We solved it. Nice. And of course, as I was saying, the chapter one was all about the tutorial part about it. Uh, chapter select. We've done every single one of the levels perfectly here. So we can now unlock the chapter two. Let's check it out. Now that we're out of the uh, tutorial part, now it's time to kind of like enjoy this more. But look at this. This reminds me so much of Tren from Dreams. I love it have so many mechanics that we can uh, remember from dreams it's so good these buttons are basically gonna open up these things right allowing us passage does work look at that that is so cool all right uh red needs to go here that's easy open this up then do that and then blue is gonna open that up there we go easy mission Perfect. Uh, red is going to have to go here to open up the door. And then, oh, they both have to make it inside. Never mind. Uh, but red needs to come in here first. And then blue. Okay. Interesting. Oh, you can also flip this like that. Interesting. So red needs to come in first. Huh. What if we make this flip the problem is I'm not gonna be able to bring uh, blue anymore that's the problem so yeah it's not gonna have time to push the button it did push the button but how do I get blue here as well now then that's what I want to know Flip, flip. Let's flip it like... Mm, that's not gonna work. 
If I do that, it's this is gonna go here, but how do I get this one to go here though? Just think. Um Gonna go straight up, that's no good. Gonna go straight up, it's no good. This one's gonna take it this way. Huh. I wonder what the solution is here. I feel like this is good. But what I feel like I gotta do is probably flip it like this and kinda like make like a uh, turnaround right here. Somehow. Yeah, I gotta make like kinda like a roundabout. Like this. And then we have a roundabout here that we gotta do, right? Let's try that, let's try that. So let's flip you. You are gonna go here. Let's see how it goes, I don't know. Let's test it out. They might, no, no, they're not gonna flip. Okay, that's perfect, that is perfect. Unfortunately, this is gonna tell the train to go in here, so that's no good. Hmm. So how do we get this from stopping? Interesting, that's no good. I gotta get it to come through here then. Ah, you know what? This one tells it to go this. Oh, but it stops here, so that's no. I mean. What if I do that? That might work. Hold up a minute. I think I got it. Oh, God. That was so fast. What the heck? <laughs> Wait a minute. That's no good. Uh, so that's gonna tell it to go that way, but then they go here. That's no good. This one wants red first, right? Yeah. In that case... This one is kind of like telling it to go roundabout. Flip it like that. There's no way we're crossing now, though. That's the problem. It goes like this. This. This one is very tricky. Um, So what if I have it like this, right? This one goes like this, and then around, then it's gonna to wanna to cross in. The blue is gonna go this way, and around, then it's gonna to wanna to cross in. The problem is somebody has to push the button, but this is not gonna work. Meaning, red is gonna to have to go up here first. Like that. Think. Or I could have it like this. Red goes in first. Which is the button. But I think the blue is gonna... Yeah, the blue is gonna cross way too fast. And that is no good. Hmm. So what if I flip that so that red goes here. And then blue is gonna go this way. But I don't know if it's gonna reach in time. Let's just test it out. I don't know if it's gonna push the button in time. Is it? Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, it did! There we go, we got it. We got the solution. 
This was a little bit more complicated, but I love it. These puzzle games are so good. Awesome. We solved it. Okay. Uh, next, this one is telling us that it needs blue first and red second. Meaning red is going to have to do a little bit of a swallow right here until blue reaches that side, right? So blue is going to have to keep on going like this. Red up. Then through here. And then you're going to have to go straight through here. There we go. We got the curves over here, of course. These ones need to be turned around. I love it that the graphics look so good. We even have these shadows and everything, making it look super realistic. I like it. I feel like I gotta do kind of like a curve here. Oh, you know what? Hold up. This is a problem because I gotta intersect it here. So in here, we're gonna need this. Like that. Oh, shoot. Hold up. That's no good. Um... We're going to need something like this. So maybe we can do that. Flip. Like that. There we go. Um, yeah, I think that's good. So it needs to be removed. So it needs to be removed because I'm going to have to flip like that. So I'm going to have to take this guy this way. Go a little bit around, around and around in circles until eventually the blue one's going to reach his destination. What if instead of that, I put this here? Yep, yep, yep. Much better. Um, oh, but I cannot go here anymore, though. That's a problem. Maybe if I do this. No. Maybe like that. Yeah, that should be good. Flip that with that. Let's see. I'm gonna go straight up through here. And eventually probably gonna connect to this. Maybe with this? Yeah, yeah, uh no, because that's not gonna be good. Flip it up like this. I mean I could flip it up through this and eventually tell it to go like that. Yeah, yeah. And here we can do this, I guess. Can get this one back in. There we go. So it goes through here, goes through here, and then goes up. But that's not good enough. It needs to go on loops. That's what I need to do here. I need to create loops. And without a couple of loops, I am not gonna be able to do anything about it. All right, so it goes here, it goes through here, and here it's going to have to go on a loop. Let's flip this like that. And then it's going to go through here. Let's just test it out and see how it goes. So it goes on a loop. Go. I might be able to. Hold up. This might work. Come on, faster, blue, faster. Please don't crash. Hey, we did it. There we go. Awesome. That was good. Beat it out. All right, next. Uh, this one needs two red, but I need to press this first. I mean, isn't this like gonna be like just like that? Is it gonna be that easy? Oh no, because I think if you push it again, you might close it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how what happens. 
So let's just try it out. Let's just try it out and test it out and see what's going to happen. But I'm pretty sure the second one is just going to close it up. Pretty, pretty sure that's how it's going to work. So basically going to have to go in a loop to open it back up. Let's see. So the first one is going to open it. The second one is going to close it. I knew it. Okay. So it's basically going to have to go on a loop here and then go back. Hmm. What I'm going to do... There we go. The first one's going to cross, and then the second one... I'm going to have to uh, switch to a different path. And the way this is going to work... It's probably like that. But the question is, if he's going to take this path, eventually he's going to go back and then hit that. So I don't want that. What I want to do here. Yeah, I think that's what I want. And here I wanted this again. Okay, I think I think this is good. Oh wait, this is no good because this is pushing the other way. No. I messed it up. This is pushing the other way. Basically, I need them to push the button once, and the other one needs to take a different path. That's what I need to happen here. But this, it's pointing it that way, and I want it to go this way instead. So... Oh, that's what I need. Right? Let's try it out, let's try it out. There we go. That's what I wanted. Perfect. If they're not gonna crash, it's perfect. There we go. GG. Love it. All right, uh, let's see. So blue needs to go here, and that's for blue, I think. Actually, no, this one is opening this one up, and this one is opening this one up. So red is going to have to open up this, and then um, probably start going in loops. And blue is going to have to open this. Hmm. So that's going to open that. And then going here. Open, open, there we go. Easy mission. Yeah, so now basically they're adding in numbers. Interesting. Uh, oh, we gotta press this before we're gonna be able to go through here. What? So we gotta go over here, go back, and then be able to cross. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I think I need it like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but when this is gonna come back, it's gonna go straight because this doesn't change. But I think I can do that. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Go make a straight path through here. Right. Next, in here is gonna have to be like an intersection. But first, I want to take that path, and then when I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come back through here, right? Because this one's gonna cross. And then go back to this side. There we go. Straight. 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 There we go. And ultimately here. There you go. I th Actually, hold up. Forgot about this one. And I think we should be good. Let's see. Can also speed it up a little bit. I knew it. It is gonna work. There we go. Awesome. 
I'm pretty sure that they add, at one point they can also add tan base, right? So you push a button and you got to make your way to the finish line in kind of like, I don't know, maybe let's say uh, 10 seconds or something like that. Solved it. Here we go. Whoa, what's with all these barrels? Is this all the trains? No way. So we got six. Oh, gosh. So the order is that the red ones need to make it up here first. Then the blue one needs to make it up here. Jeez. This means all the red ones has to go straight in. As fast as possible. But we also need to connect them somehow, right? So. Uh, let's see. Like that. So then this guy needs to come here. But I think I might need him here instead. There we go. That's going to be a normal one. Okay, so all of them are going to go in here. And then the blue one needs to go in. Um, I guess the blue one can just simply go in circles a lot. Like a snake. Simply do like snake rounds. Until eventually he makes it inside. Because there's no time base or anything that we got to be worried about. Go. That around. One more here. And all of them are just going to be straight. And hopefully. I mean, this should definitely work. I'm pretty sure this is how you do it. Right out. <laughs> so many. Yeah, look at that. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. This was a little bit too long, though, but eventually we solved it. All right, next. Blue needs to go here. Red needs to go here. So they have to intertwine a little bit. Hmm. So we are going to have to create an intersection. It doesn't matter who reaches first, so that is good. What I'm going to have to do here is... Uh, probably this here. Yeah. To flip them. More like to uh, switch path. How do you make this intersection, though? Oh, I think like that, yeah. Perfect. There we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go. I gotta make it a little bit longer on one end so that they do not hit each other. That is also something I gotta pay attention for. Because they can easily hit each other if you don't do it. So for red, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a uh, roundabout over here. There we go. And for blue, I'm just gonna go straight. Just so that they have a little bit of a difference. Oh, they might. <laughs> that was not enough of a difference. Um if I do that, I do a kind of like a circle here. Right? Just like that, for example. Flip. There we go. So now it should go on a little bit of a loop on this side. But if I do that, this also needs to go in like that. And flip. There we go. And this should be enough. Hopefully. Yes, there we go. It worked. Awesome. So a little bit of a loop is going to solve the situation. Uh, so we have three red ones, but we got to press one and then second. Open this up. And the thing is, only one needs to press it. I think there's three of them, so that's going to be something going to have to pay attention for. So they all go through here. They go through here. They push one three times, which is good. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I might be able to actually solve this one really, really easily because there's three of them. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I forgot that this changes. Um, okay. Why did he go that way when I told him to go this way, though? What? Yeah, let's do it like that, then. Somebody must have flipped it. Oh, and I think I know exactly who. This guy. 
This guy is making its way up and it's going that way. Mm, so he's the one flipping it. Interesting. So that's no good. Man, this one is complicated. Okay, one is pushed. Two is pushed. Oh, he presses one when he crosses through here. That is so annoying. Okay, let's do that then. Let us see. So two is activated. One is activated. He's going to activate two, though. That's the problem. So maybe what I got to do here is not allow one to that one to go back and push that button. Let's see which one. The first one goes through. Goes through two. Perfect. That guy's activating one. But this guy cannot go through here anymore. So what I got to do here, I got to create some sort of a loop. Let's see. So that he goes through here instead. Let me make a loop. Like that. There we go. So that's going to be a loop for him. Let us see how it goes. All right. That is what I want to see. Now he's no longer going to activate two. Then I'm going to have to get rid of this guy so he doesn't activate two anymore. He's going to go there. Perfect. But this guy activates one, right? So now I got to figure out how to solve this issue so he doesn't go through this anymore. And I think I just got to connect here. Now, hold up. The first one that touches two, I think he goes straight through here, right? This guy, yeah. He goes straight. Okay. Meaning, this needs to flip. Like that. I think I finally solved it. No way I finally solved it. This took so long. So much work! Finally, man, as I was saying, this uh, level 10 here in chapter 2 has actually taken me the most time to solve, but it's been so fun.